Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I remain Lawal Taufik Adibayo, your favorite civic education teacher at CTY Model College, Ibadan. Uh, you are welcome to lesson two uh, of the story of the term. During our last lesson, we discussed some forms of constitution thoroughly. We looked at federal, confederal, and unitary constitutions as forms of constitution. In this lesson, we shall treat written and written, rigid and flexible forms of constitution. I want to believe that this will deepen our understanding of the other forms of constitution and help us appreciate the operations in the process of social engineering better, most especially that of our democratic states. The following are the other forms of constitution we shall consider. The written constitution. You may be surprised that we have written constitution as a form of constitution. Of course, there is. And as the name implies, written constitution stipulates that the whole body of fundamental laws guiding the operation of our country is documented in a single booklet or volume. That is, a written constitution has the whole body of laws written in a single document for easy referencing and perhaps uh, a thorough examination. This will help you understand the fact that not every constitution of the world is written down in a single booklet. There are some other ones that are written elsewhere. Of course, some are written in a book, while some are written in books. So, some examples of the countries of the world that operate written constitutions include Nigeria, France, Ghana, and other countries of the world. E, a written constitution. As the name implies, a written constitution reverse to that type of constitution in which the fundamental laws of a country are not written down in a single document. Contrasting a written constitution with written constitution, we can easily see that written constitution has a single booklet form, while a written constitution has more than one uh, single booklet form. There is, uh, of course, the constitutions, the, the laws are written down in some documents. In contrast to one document, it implies that each time there is a need for the country that operates on the constitution to make a reference to such a constitution, she will be forced to revert to more than one document. So, there lies the difference between written and unwritten forms of constitution. Britain and New Zealand are good examples of countries that use unwritten constitution. F. Rigid Constitution. Rigid constitution can be defined as that constitution which cannot be easily amended because of certain stringent and cumbersome procedures stipulated 
for its amendment. This is peculiar to a written constitution. A written constitution is, cannot be easily amended. There is when there is a need for the country to include some other laws or some other provisions into the constitution, it will take them some stringent procedures. So, rigid, rigid, rigid constitution is that form of is that form of constitution that is very difficult to change, usually because of process of amendment that is detailed and stringent. Last, okay. Lastly, flexible constitution. In contrast to the rigid form of constitution, flexible constitution can be easily amended by the ordinary process of legislation. That is, a law can just be made that will help but that will help amending a flexible form of constitution. So, it must be mentioned that some flexible constitutions are written while some are still unwritten. In conclusion, in this lesson, we have examined the remaining forms of constitution. Apart from the four three forms of constitution that we discussed in the last lesson, which include federal constitution, confederal constitution, and unitary constitution. The other forms of constitution that we have considered in this lesson are written constitution, unwritten constitution, rigid constitution, and flexible constitution. Conclusion. In this lesson, we have examined the remaining forms of constitution, and I believe that this lesson has widened your horizons regarding the forms of constitution operational in democratic states worldwide. Of course, there are certain peculiarities, advantages and disadvantages that are attached to the operations of each form of constitutions that we have identified. I am very much hopeful that you will be exposed to these peculiarities in your further studies in civic education. I mean, as you progress uh, in your course of studies, you uh, will be exposed to uh, the peculiarities attached to each form of constitution that we have identified. Assignments. Uh, these are your assignment questions. Number one, mention the same forms of constitution identified. Two, state the forms of constitution that Nigeria as a democratic state operates. I will be waiting for your response. I mean, meaningful ones to the assignment questions given. Do have a wonderful time at home while you still are remain prayerful that the lockdown plays on schools due to COVID-19 pandemic uh, should be relaxed as soon as possible. Till next week when we shall meet, I remain yours sincerely. Nawal Taufik Adebayo. Bye for now.